Hello, Desert Breeze kids and families. I hope this online lesson finds you well. So a little bit different for today uh, as been the theme for this month. Just know um, today is our VBS recap weekend. What that means is we're going to get to see from this past week uh, the buddies that we got introduced to one each day this past week for Vacation Bible School and kind of the lessons that went along with each buddy uh, for this week. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy today's online uh, VBS recap lesson. Just remember, though, uh, as far as announcements, next week is uh, promotion week. So um, fifth graders uh, who fifth graders from last year will be going up to Anomaly who are going to be sixth grade uh, this 2021-2022 calendar year and the rest of the Clitos uh, are going to be promoting on up. So just remember they may have a new classroom next week if they are going in person. But same as always though we'll still have our online lesson same time same place. Anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this weekend's VBS recap uh, Bible. Uh, <laughs> Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Woo! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Glad you're back on track at Rocky Railway. Wow. The first day just flew by, didn't it? I'm Ava, a red-tailed hawk. You can find me and my family members all over North America. We're everywhere. Even though we live all across North America, you may not see me in your backyard. <laughs> well, unless you don't have any neighbors. We like to live in wide open spaces where we can soar over treetops, grass and water looking for food. You might say that red-tailed hawks are faithful friends, 
When we find a mate, we stay together for life. My fine feathered friend and I build our nest together and care for our chicks together. We're an excellent team. I'm happiest way up in the sky. That's why I build my nest at the tallest point I can find. Some hawk nests have been spotted as high as 120 feet off the ground. That's as high as a human tower of 20 tall crew leaders. My nest might be at the tip top of a tree or even on the top of a building or a telephone pole. That gives me a bird's eye view of what's around, food, friends, or animals that might want to hurt us. Ah, I love soaring with my big, beautiful wings. They're more than three feet across, you know. God gave me just what I needed to catch the wind and just fly. Up here, you see things differently. Stuff that seemed big seems smaller. Things that seemed harder look much easier. A path that looks like a dead end? Hey, I can see a way out. A fresh perspective can put the wind under your wings and give you the strength to keep going. Sometimes I spot you humans with my sharp hawk eyes and you look a little down. Do things seem impossible? Scary? Hopeless? Maybe you need a fresh perspective. Maybe you need to see things Jesus way, with hope. Jesus is stronger than anything. He has a plan for everything. You can have strength, courage, and hope. The Bible encourages us with these words. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. So trust Jesus. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend tell the truth, or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you.
cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at BBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatch is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food. My eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow. Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So if you're feeling worried or sad or things seem out of control, remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass, but in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these, and a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine, or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts, a few elk who stand watch while others graze. 
We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! so much for uh, joining us today for our online VBS recap. Uh, stay tuned uh, because within the coming week we're going to be posting our opening and closing sessions from VBS as well. Thanks again so much guys and hope you have a good rest of your week.